And we're live. Welcome to the uh, McCaffrey Crafts live stream. Uh, let me see now if I can just go live here on Instagram as well at the same time. Okay, there we go. Welcome to the McCaffrey Crafts live stream. I am your host, stick maker Francis McCaffrey. I'm a fifth generation Black Torn Shillelagh stick maker. And uh, yeah, you might have heard of the legend. Well, you know, here is the man, the man behind the legend. And uh, I'm a humble man from humble beginnings. And, uh, you know, everything you've heard about me is probably more or less true. So anyway, um, I make myself available to you, you boyos in the community to, uh, you know, get to know me, my personality. I usually talk about uh, my sticks that I'm making. I talk about Irish crafts. And I talk about uh, my life as well and, and different things as well. So thank you for joining, you know, the unusual live stream. I've been doing this for years now. Uh, what are we, 2024? Um, I think I started the live streaming back in uh, 2020 or something like that. So I've been live streaming most Fridays for the past four years. So if you're new to my stream, thank you for, for joining. And uh, I'm here to, to answer any questions you have in Irish Crafts. I'm streaming now on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram at the same time. Um, I can bring up the comments from Facebook and YouTube, but if you have any comments from Instagram, I'll see if I can get them as well. And uh, yeah, welcome to the stream. So we have uh, Steve Kelly. He says, Francis, it's Friday. Good, e good evening. Good evening to you, Steve. Thank you for joining the uh, this stream. Uh, happy as always that, uh, that you can join. Uh, we have uh, Mary Miles, another regular on the live stream here. Hello, Francis. How are you doing? Uh, I'm all right. You know, <laughs> I'm on the mend. I've had uh, I've had better days. Uh, but yeah, things are, are going pretty well. Um, I just uploaded uh, some new sticks to my website. Um, I put on uh, a lot of these very light um, hiking sticks and I put a cheap price on them. And I put about 12 uh, walking sticks just onto my website about, you know, 20, 30 minutes ago. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys an update of what's coming next. Um, I'll show you some sticks. I'll show you a stick my dad was working on as well. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in woods, you're interested in sticks, you know, you like wood green and curves and things like that, then, you know, here's the uh, here's the, uh, the the live stream for you guys as well. Um, let's see now. We have um, Mike Rizzo says, sorry, one second. I'm just jumping between so many screens here to so make sure that I can see most things. Um, it says, uh, good to see you in high spirits. The one nut stick maker tag is hilarious. Yes. If you're new to the stream, I have recently been to surgery in January and part of the surgery was to lose one of my testicles. So I am now the uh, one nut stick maker. And uh, I think it's just funny to, to joke about it. And, uh, you know, I've done a few videos as well. Had the testicular cancer, got it chopped off. You know, it's it's curable, it's awkward, it's weird. And, uh, you know, if you're a young guy, check your nuts, touch your nuts, feel your nuts, grab your nuts. Um, in, you know, for professional reasons, of course, to check for, for anything that might uh, need to be checked out by a urologist. Because, like, uh, <laughs> I waited about six months to get my nuts checked out when they were when they were a bit weird. But, uh, but yeah, so like, um, you know, with part of these streams and part of my videos is um, I do create some awareness for testicular cancer. Since uh, I've gone through that very recently, I'm uh, fresh out of surgery only four weeks. So I'm still feeling the effects and uh, getting used to, uh, to having one nut is, uh, is a bit weird, but you have more ballroom down there. I can't. <laughs> Depending how deep you guys want to go, I could go into to talking about how life is with one nut, or we can stick to the sticks. I think you probably wish to stick to the sticks more than me talking about my one nut. Um, but uh, yeah, Trunk says uh, hello, nice work, hello, and uh, thank you for joining the stream. And uh, you know, on the stream, I joke around, I make jokes, and uh, and and, uh, and different things. So thank you for joining, John Wheatley. Can't wait to get your sticks. My wife ordered you today. I um, started watching some of your videos and found out about your cancer. I thought some prayers for a full recovery. Yes, I got struck down with testicular cancer, like many young men, but like many young men before me who got testicular cancer. I'm still here. I'm still fine. Um, the truth about testicular cancer is you're probably going to live. You're probably going to lose your nuts. You're probably going to feel a bit weird and sore for a while. But like, you know, it's it's a two months shitty process. 
but you know you're going to feel better at the end of it and uh i think look you know if you're a man out there now you should be you know especially like i'm 45 and i got testicular cancer which is pretty weird man i always thought it was a young man thing from 18 to 35 but you know you can get it at, at any age so again look if you are watching me now you're interested in irish crafts and irish sticks and you're alone and you're in a private place put your hands on your nuts and check right now do it lads it's gonna have so much fun with this as well <laughs> imagine saying stuff like that out of context man you get into so much trouble but uh you know because i'm gone through testicular cancer i can say things with impunity now i'm like a court jester i can say lads touch your nuts and of course i'm doing it all for medical reasons and stuff as well but uh yeah i i have three kids so it's all right but i'm probably shooting blanks now for the rest of my life which is a good thing i don't want any more babies but uh yeah look i'm on i'm i'm recovering um it still feels sore i had um i had my one month update with my urologist um i had to wait like nearly an hour and 30 minutes to see him and then i saw him for like four or five minutes and he just said yeah you you we got the results back on your testicle it was a seminoma cancer which is the better one to have. There's two types. There's a non-seminoma and a seminoma. So I got the slow growing. Anyway, I got the cancer that doesn't require chemo. So I don't need to have chemotherapy. So the operation they feel will be enough and they feel I don't need to go through chemo. So, you know, can't go wrong with that, lads. Have to be happy. Uh, I'll stop teasing you about your nuts. Yeah, Steve, man, you 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 have this strange fascination now with my nuts. But again, I I, I don't have two. I only have one. So you, you, you'd have to remove that S. Uh, you're a class act, my friend. Good on you as well. Yes, I am a Caffrey, you know, a stick maker, a shillelagh maker. We are cut from different cloths. We are not normal guys. We are not men who, you know, sit at home playing video games all day and just watching tv we're we're into the outdoors we're into nature we're we're uh, masculine men bringing back the old testosterone because I, <laughs> because i have depleted testosterone levels now i need it i need my sticks to make me feel more masculine again and build up my old testosterone but uh we'll see how it goes lads um stephen campbell said good day sir um it's my favorite irishman while well, you and uh, Jimmy McNarnan uh, as well. Well, thank you. If I am your, your favorite Irishman as well, well, I'm happy to do that. Uh, you know, once you get to know me and my sense of humor, like, you know, I like hitting around. I like joking. Um, I think it's kind of fun just to kind of like, you know, have a laugh. Um, I think that humor can be used to, to talk about pretty much everything. And uh, I am passionate about stick making and making sticks. And uh, I want to be the best. I want to grow. Um, I have some really beautiful sticks I just put up today. So if you're interested in in uh, a walking stick or a shillelagh or something like that. And St. Patrick's Day is coming soon, lads. What are you going to be doing on St. Patrick's Day? Like, you know, just sitting at home, you know, simping away for some someone online or be out. With your black torn shillelagh, like you know. Here, I'll do some modeling. Here we go. How should you model a stick? I suppose that's one way to model it. Do a nice little twirl. There we go. So here we have a nice black torn specimen. Look at that. Look at how that bark is smooth. This this bark is as smooth as my one testicle that I have left. That's one of the things about testicular cancer, is like. When you go touch your nuts for tech checking for testicular cancer, just so you guys know, it should actually feel smooth. It should actually feel nothing. So look, you see how this bark is nice and smooth, or you know how like an egg is nice and smooth. That's how it should feel, and it's just soft. But if you start feeling these type of little knuckles on your on your testicles, you see these little kind of like knuckles that kind of go up as well. That's a sign. That's a warning. That's like you need to go and get it checked out, you know, because those little things are, are indicators as well. So the reason I'm holding this is, of course, to sell the sticks, but also to teach you guys, to teach you guys what to look for when you need to touch your testicles for checking for, for cancer. And uh, again, you know, as I was saying, I picked a stick because it's lovely and smooth and feels nice. Your testicles should feel like that, should feel really kind of soft and smooth and just like you're like, you know, like an egg or something like that. But again, guys, just I'm repeating myself because the message is quite important. But if you notice, like, 
there's something on your testicle and it's like that. It's like a little bump that goes up and you're like, what's that? You know, what's going on here? You feel one of those little things, lads, go get it checked out because the sooner you get it checked out, um, the process is less awkward and uh, completely curable. Uh, Tim McKern. Hey, Francis, that's good. Your voice hasn't changed yet. No, not really, Tim. Were you guys expecting me to talk like this? No, I've got to overcompensate now. I've only got one testicle, so I have to overcompensate. And I have to be even more masculine than before as well to, to compensate as well <laughs> or something like that. But uh, actually, like, I, I don't feel much different. I still feel I, I probably just feel more chilled and relaxed. Like nothing seems to bother me too much anymore. Um, like, oh, I was looking through all these troll comments the other day. And like they were just harmless and funny, like and stuff like that. And they're trying to be as mean and as cutting as possible, and all the things I've kind of heard before for ten years. And like I just couldn't give a flute about about them. So I, I made a little video saying that as well about McCaffrey doesn't give two f's about these uh, troll comments. But like it's kind of normal. Like if you ever have an online platform and you are like you know online and and putting yourself out there, it's pretty normal just to have a few weirdos just to kind of you know come in. Uh, glad to hear you're doing well and recovering nicely as well. Yes. I'm on the mend. Every day I'm getting stronger and stronger. Um, I'm on light duties at the moment, just like, you know, uploading sticks, answering questions, um, you know, just doing a bit of finishing and painting and things like that. So I'm, I'm just not doing any heavy lifting. I have my son to do all that and my uh, dad as well to do a few different things as well. So, uh, and you know, I, I had prepared for this. Like I had a, a bunch of sticks lined up. I had everything ready to go. I'd done all the kind of hard physical work over the Christmas. So like, you know, so like I could be laid off for two, three months. Uh, I was kind of aware of this and I planned for this as well because uh, I'm like that. I, I, I like to plan for every eventuality. After, after that COVID nonsense, I'm 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 a prepper for when I get injured. I'm always like kind of um you know trying to uh, to keep my business going. I think that's uh, that's quite important as well. Mary Miles, good news. Thank you. Well, thank you Mary. I'm happy for uh, for all the well wishes as well and Mary you've always been uh, kind to me and my family and always said great things as well. Uh, so I do like appreciate that as well. Uh, we have uh, Gregory B Trotter. How are things? Good to see you Francis. I hope your recovery is going along smoothly. Uh, it is. It is. Um, you look most of you guys in this community of walking sticks as well, usually you need a walking stick because something is wrong, because you have an injury, because something's wrong with your leg, because, you know, you're coming out of surgery and you just need a walking stick as well. So like, you know, all of you guys, I know you understand, like my pain and what I've gone through is trivial. Like some of you guys like have some serious stuff going on, man. Like, you know, and uh, ones that you, you have greater battles than I've been through. So like, you know, how can I like feel sorry or feel sad for myself when every single day I'm speaking to people who are going through some serious, serious things like and it, look a lot of a lot of guys that are in this community like they, they don't make it like, you know, they, they, they have illnesses that are pretty bad. They try their best and they fight until the end. And, you know, I, I do I do um, have a lot of sympathy for a lot of people. So I, I do realize how lucky I am and how good I am. And, look, you know, I went through this and uh, I don't think it's it's, you know, something that I should ever beat myself up about because I regularly speak to people who are going through quite a lot of different things. Guys are going various stages of cancer and different things. It's like literally every single day. You guys in the community are contacting me, telling you stories. I look, I need a walking stick. I've just come out and had surgery. And uh, after you have surgery, like you, you do need a walking stick. Um, I had I had two walking sticks, and uh, maybe on next week's live stream, I'll show you the walking stick that I used for my first three weeks after my surgery. And uh, yeah, it was uh, it was it's very like when you get out of surgery and and different things like getting up, sitting down, getting up and down out of the seat, getting in and out of bed. Oh, going up the stairs, man, is 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 like climbing Everest, you know, when you're in a lot of pain and stuff like that. Unless you got some good painkillers. <coughs> but uh yeah, like uh, so hey Gregory man, you're you're in uh California, I think, from memory. Let's see now. Justin Downing says, just order one this morning. Very good. Thank you so much for supporting McCaffrey Crafts. The number one, maybe stick maker in the world. The most passionate stick maker in the world. The most authentically Irish. Look how Irish I am. Look, I'm wearing the Guinness hat. Look, I must be Irish. Look, I got my own merch, Irish black turn as well. I'm holding a black turn walking stick. Look at those Ireland t-shirts and Guinness in the background. Is anyone more Irish than me? Well, you know, 
there probably is a few. Uh, hey guys, hey Francis, um, I'm waiting for late June uh, to work on my walking sticks. That's the best time of year, man. In the uh, in the summertime, you know, the sun is shining, the birds are tweeting away, the sun is setting in the evening. You have a long evening. You have that cold beer in your hand, and you're just outside the back garden, and you're just working in wood. Like you know, I I miss those days when. You know, I, I could, uh, <laughs> you know, I could really kind of like enjoy and take my time in stick making. Now, because I am such a leading expert and a, 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 such a big company with McCaffrey Crafts Limited. Um, and, uh, you know, I am a worldwide global brand now. Um, I have to get the sticks out quickly. And, you know, there's there's a lot that goes into it when, you know, you go from, from being a hobby stick maker into being a full-time professional uh, stick maker as well. Uh, let's see. I um, hate to say it, Francis, but uh, it's probably from the, uh, the the movie as well. I can't. Well, I don't know what reference that is, but uh, you can remind me. Um, so they shouldn't feel like Kiwis. No, they should not feel like Kiwis. They should feel like really kind of smooth and stuff like, and, you know, like and, and things like that. Actually, I, <laughs> I had a, I had a few strange requests because like I put a few videos out, and uh, one guy he wanted to see like how weird is that man? He was like, he was kind of wondering, and I don't know was he trolling or what? And like he said, like you know he was going McCaffrey. Um, I I you know I just want to know what it looks like. Should I get like a prosthetic or something? Because maybe I'll have this. I'm not sure and stuff. Because a few guys were reached out to me, and I was like, oh, what do you mean? And he goes, can you take a picture of you know, you know, the McCaffrey jewels. And uh, can you show them to me? And I was like, nah, man, that's a bit weird. Like, and he, he genuinely was like, he couldn't find any pictures online of what it would look like after the operation, which is having like one testicle. And he was wondering, like, you know, he heard that sometimes, you know, having a, you know, a, a fake thing inside you can feel a bit weird and different things like that. And he just wanted to see what a pair of nuts that a pair you know it was a weird thing like and what was i going to say man like you know i was i was trying to be polite and i was like you know i thought he was trolling to start with but he, he seems to be genuine and like he was asking me to take a picture you know and uh, you know i i, I just thought I, I couldn't do that that'd be too weird like imagine like you know i'm taking a picture of that and sending and imagine i sent it to the wrong person or sent it to my mom or something like weird like that you know it's it, it's, it sounds like the the beginning of some bad comedy sketch but uh, yeah, I had I had some guy that uh, wanted me to take a picture of how it looked like down there after my operation, and uh, you know <laughs> I had to set up an OnlyFans or something like that to, to if you want to see pictures of that. But geez, man, some of these lads that contact me are way weird, man, are way out there. Uh, Paul Carter says hi to Mary, very good. And let's see, um, it's probably from the COVID shot. Uh, oh, <laughs> I wonder. I I went down that rabbit hole. Uh, okay, wait, I got a message from Instagram. Uh, how do you work out the correct length for a walking stick by Cirque Bikes? And it is half your height with shoes on. There's like so many different calculations that you get. But usually like say, for example, like, you know, if you are like five foot, uh, you know, nine or something like that, and um, you go for maybe a 35, 35 and a half inch, usually within the kind of inch range, it'll still feel all right. So like if you're looking for a stick, just half your height with shoes on. So half your height and add an inch is, is usually close enough. Like there's ways to measure from your wrist and your knuckle and different things. But some of those methods, like it, it if you're really tall, it kind of like works. But if you're a bit shorter, like the, the kind of measuring from your wrist to the ground doesn't really go if you have like shorter legs because sometimes you need a different type of stick. So the most, the, the from trying all the ways to calculate how to get a walking stick, the easiest way is half your height and add an inch or half your height and allow for your shoe as well, you know, and that's always kind of the, the most kind of straightforward way to, to do it as well. Uh, we have uh, Rodney. He says, hi. Hey, Rodney. How are things, my man? Where are you from? Thanks for joining the McCaffrey Crafts live stream. And Mary says, hello, Paul. Snow in Wyoming today. Uh, how are you doing? Very good. Uh, Garen says, good afternoon to the gathering of the Order of the Black Thorn. Here, here. We're all here, man. We're all in attendance. It's always good to see you familiar faces, man. You turn up every Friday to talk to me. It's actually quite quite, uh, quite nice as well. I'm glad you're feeling better. Look, thanks, Rodney. Yeah, I, I'm feeling like I'm feeling better the whole time. I'm feeling a bit sore. You know, I, I wish I could like get back to exercises Um. Like I'm, I'm definitely putting on a bit of weight because I can't move around or do too much as well. And um, but like I'm feeling pretty good. Like um, I, I feel like positive. Um, you know, <laughs> when you go through, like when you hear the C word, man, you get a bit of a shock and and you're kind of like, you know, oh, what am I going to do? And 
you're just constantly focusing on and when you get through it and and looking things but like i have such a desire to do things now um i just want to to travel more uh, see the world more i want to make more money um my this is my passion my brand like mccaffrey crafts like i want my family name to be synonymous like with blackthorn for years to come like i like genuinely like um the reason i'm kind of doing this is is for legacy it's not for for anything you know like i've, I've made enough money over the years like i've been doing this business for years like you know i i'm i'm a black turn millionaire like um i've made well in excess of you know i've become a millionaire every few years like the value of my company is worth over a million as well like my network is you know so the thing is like I, there comes a stage in your life that your family name is important and you want to kind of be useful to, to, to society and like i don't know like i i just really want the name mccaffrey associated with like walking sticks or blackthorn or irish crafts or something like that so like you know like a hundred years from now some lads you know or some they're, they're obviously going to make an ai version of me in the future <laughs> imagine that like actually i i i i, I like retire and like i just have an ai version of me. I mean, this is an ai version of me actually mccaffrey he didn't make it man he's not here anymore but this is just the ai version like you know i this is this is a mask you know you, you you'll start the conspiracy theories going you know especially like um i, I like I, I googled that i said like you know does does the um the injections you got from the flu and um, you know affect your nuts and stuff and there was like a link to it and like i was like getting conspiracy you know conspiracy thing where i was like what because like one aspect of covid is that it did like swell up your nuts and it did go to that region and different things as well and like one of the side effects they said for the vaccines and stuff is like you know they're worried about how it would like you know might activate some cancer cells in people's bodies and different things like there and then like you know i'm not gonna lie man i did i did get a bit kind of conspiratorial theorist at that i was telling my son about it and stuff and then i was like Right, McCaffrey, man, just forget about that. Focus on the sticks because, like, I'm like you guys. Like, you know, if sometimes you're just there and you see one plus one equals two, and you're like, oh, that makes sense and different things. And you know, you can get dragged into down down these little rabbit holes and stuff as well. And uh, I don't want to think about it. But I, I did. I did ask urologists. I said, lad, um, when I was down here last week, I said, is there been a bit of a surge in this man? Is there like a lot of lads now? That are coming in with you know the old cancer thing with the nut cancer and he's like yeah he says we're flat out like there's been a big surge in it and stuff and he was like oh maybe because people didn't come in during covid and now they're coming in but i don't know man uh you know if you want to let your mind go like crazy and worry about all of these things but like there's so many things and so many factors like who knows man i just get on with it but i i am very very keen to try to build like a family legacy and a name and a brand around McCaffrey and different things as well. Uh, you know, because like, you know, I, I got a shock. I thought, of, you know, I thought that was it when I got the old C and, uh, you know, I was thinking like, how am I going to be remembered? Like, you know, what is, and you know, you think of all of these things as a man that, you know, when you're sitting in the hospital waiting rooms and different things as well. And, uh, one of the things I, I really want is that I, I want to be remembered for my walking sticks for you know what i've done for irish crafts for inspiring a load of load of other people like even example like today um a young kid maybe about i'd say 12 or 13 he was just walking by my shop and he's like oh i recognize you i see you online i watch some of your videos and like you know he was he was like he was genuinely interested i thought he like sometimes these teenagers you think they're trolling and stuff and he was very interested and he was like saying that him and his dad religiously watch my videos and his dad is trying to figure out where I cut the black thorn so he can find it and he's telling me all this like funny information about his his dad like really studying my videos and trying to find out and his dad got cut like a hundred sticks and stuff and he was just he was just a genuinely nice kid and lad so I gave him a book for free I gave him the book the the Kerry uh, black thorn uh, fighters and I said look you've got a great attitude you're, you're a great guy and uh you've you've you supported me online so here's a book and stuff like that and you know hopefully he'll remember this conversation I've had with him. He'll like, you know, he watching, he's probably watching these videos now. And, uh, you know, if young lads are there and uh, it's it's a great hobby to start stick making, um, you know, but don't go into the Blackthorn stick making first, like go with it, use a few of the easier, safer woods. And uh, it might be a bit easier to do that as well. Uh, Paul Carter says, um, uh, I'm doing well. Sorry about the, <laughs> the white stuff. Uh, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Maybe I missed something there. Uh, okay. Uh, how's the forum uh, uh how's the forum this week buddy yeah it's all right man it's like 
you know, I'm kind of like my mind's all over the place and wanting to do like a million things. And I have to keep trying to remind myself just not to be too active, not to, to, to you know, get I, I don't want to get injured and different things as well. And uh, I don't want to make too many plans yet. I just kind of want to, you know, at the moment, the kids are like in daughters in her final year of school. She's got a lot of focus on that. My son has his exams coming up as well and different things. So I'm pretty good. Like, uh, you know, the vote was on in Ireland today. I'll talk about the voting. Do you guys do you guys around the world want to know about there was a referendum in Ireland today? I don't know a lot about it, but I, I'll give you how I voted if you guys want. If you guys want to to, to get, you know, dip your toes in the old politics, you know, I, I'm pretty good at navigating through that. Like, um, I don't mind your political views as well. I, I get on with most people. I'm uh, glad you're feeling better. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. And um, if I had money, I would buy some sticks, too. I appreciate that, James, man. And you are going to have money. You got to visualize it, man. You got to visualize it. You know, you gotta manifest. You know, you got to say, man, those those dollars are just going to come in. And um, the thing about making money and stuff is that if everyone everyone was doing it, it'd be easy. But like, you know, it's it's oh, it, uh, Jukka Blackholm from Instagram says hello to Finland. Hello, Finland. Helsinki is it or whereabouts are you, man? Um, my daughter wanted to go to college in uh, in there for a while as well because of the uh, the heavy metal scene in Finland, and uh, you know she uh, she does like it. She has a few friends up there as well. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. He could Google a picture. Uh, that's weird. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. From from I get it now. I remember now from from looking at yeah, like they they were they were looking. They wanted to see to see. They wanted a picture of my nut man after the surgery. Like and you know that was a bit weird for me, man. But look, you know, if guys are dealing with stuff and they've got weird things in their head, like um, if if someone's dealing with something and they reach out to me, like I'm genuine, I'll talk to them like, you know, why, you know, sometimes guys want to go to a therapist, want to do this, want to do that, just want to talk to another lad, you know, say what they have to say. And then, you know, they're, they're going to feel better about it as well. Um, good to see you in the hot seat. Yes, I actually have a nice heater here beside me as well because it's freezing in Ireland. Um, is there a testicular cancer awareness month? Uh, I'm not like I'm not really too aware of it. Like I, I'm not involved like with all of that kind of uh, you know uh, charity groups and stuff as well. So I don't know a lot about it. Um, I'll probably just do my own thing and talk about it and, and put it out there. And then like you know hopefully if any of these groups want me to talk about my experience, like I'd be more than happy to go on and, and tell it. But I'm, I'm still going to go through it. I'm only a month from my surgery. Like I'm still kind of in the middle, I suppose of it. I'm not like completely out of the woods yet. I've got like, they said that I have a 70, with with this surgery, you have a 70% chance of being fine, a 30% chance of it spreading to the second nut. So I was like, oh God, man, I don't want to know about these statistics, man. I just want to focus on the positives. But uh, yeah, I think there's like various cancer months and there's like loads of different things. But uh, I don't know, man, I didn't find too much about it. And uh, it's one of those ones that like, you know, it, it affects a lot of young men and different things as well. And uh, I don't I don't really see too much online or too much mentioned about it as well. Uh, you are live at a particular time each day or week or do you go? I, yeah, this time. Usually when most Fridays at 6 p.m. Irish time, I go live uh, because it's the end of my work week. And usually I have a ritual where I finish my work. Then on Friday nights, I go get uh, takeaway food for the kids. I come back like a hero. Like when you're a dad and you have three kids, like, you know, they, they don't care about much, but when I come through the door on a Friday night and I've got like all takeaway food, you know, fried chicken sometimes, pizza, the smell of like French fries and everything. And I come in the door and I get like a hero's welcome. Like the kids, you know, the minute the door goes, they know Friday night they're getting something nice. And there's the smell of the food. They come down the stairs and they all run at me, man. Like, I'm you know, you know, you know, and and uh, I don't know, man. I, I to me, it's the little moments in life like that uh, that I remember. Like to my kids won't even remember or register this, but like that was one of my memories that I was like really fond of. Like you know, and I, I kind of like this process where I go and I work my hard week. I do the live stream for an hour. I get takeaway. Go back to the kids. You know, watch a movie, and uh, that's usually my kind of Friday night routine. So I, I try like. I'm here most Fridays unless I'm traveling out of the country or, you know, <laughs> you know, being chopped up in surgery or something like uh, Jean Donegan. Delighted you're doing well. Uh, thank you, Jean. I appreciate you reaching out as well with your, your messages and, uh, you know, your well wishes as well. Um, I have a vi video of Tucker Carlson talking about the jabs causing that kind of problems as well. Um, I don't know, man. Don't get me. Don't put me down that rabbit hole, Steve, man. I, 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 I just... Uh, 
you know if you send me those articles i'll start like you know going down that rabbit hole as well and i'm trying i'm trying not to as well but uh you know uh you know how people are some people like they they're they're very touchy about these topics as well but uh i do i do enjoy tucker's interviews as well i thought his interview with putin was was very interesting i know a lot of people didn't like that and and different things but like you know putin and carlson like Putin just went in there and for the first 30 minutes, he just started talking about history and educating guys in history. And he didn't seem to like care about anything Putin. And he wasn't like bashing America. And like your man was just kind of asked him various questions. And Putin just was like, yeah, whatever, man. It's like, you know, it's it's up to America to be American. It's not up to me. It's that. And he's just this kind of like attitude that he just didn't really care, you know, and stuff. And uh, it's interesting to see how, how, he, uh, how he is. And uh, but anyway, like uh, I actually enjoy carson's interview as well i know like some people don't like all that stuff and different things as well but uh i kind of uh i enjoy his interviews um why do some sticks have little branches or pricks on them and others don't um yeah like sometimes the trunk of a tree near a root ball it has less of the, the pricks and knuckles and it's mostly like the branches that would have them and then sometimes like you know say for example like there's there's one there like sometimes i sand them down like so they have they have these things that stick up as well sometimes i kind of sand them down like that one's kind of sanded down but you can still see there's like a bit of a bump sometimes i leave it a bit longer sometimes i leave it so the reason that some sticks look different from the other is that i try to create a lot of variety on the website that there's so many guys that like so many different sticks that um sometimes like i need to have all sticks looking different and it kind of a lot of people that buy like an Irish walking stick or a rustic Irish uh, or a rustic stick, they're looking for a one of a kind item. They, they don't want something that's mass produced. They don't want something that looks the same. They don't want to go to my website and see, you know, 400 sticks and they all look the same. They all look, you know, like this as well. So I, I, I intentionally try to make all my sticks look a bit different. And sometimes use different finishes. Sometimes I send down the knuckles. Sometimes I leave them. And then there's different parts of the tree as well. Like the trunk is like less torny. Um, towards the bottom where the root is and then as you go up into the branches it can be a bit more kind of uh, more more kind of roots as well <coughs> um okay sorry i've i've been talking all day my voice is going but uh let's see snow in wyoming very good liesel cigar box how are you getting on are you still still making them as well just one second guys i want to get a little drink here i think i have one near me <coughs> one second all right here we go I have this radiator on beside me as well. It's starting to start get pretty hot now. Uh, let's see. I'd love to hear about your vote. Yeah, we can talk about Irish politics. Um, I'll talk about the the referendum. I don't fully understand it, but I have a basic understanding of it. I'll give you like my completely uneducated view on it as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, hi, this is They're all saying hello to each other. Francis, I have some money coming in at the end of the month. I'm looking for a new walk and say, hit me up, hit me up, message me. Like I'll make you something special. You've been a great supporter of me over the years, Liesl, you know, and I, I always look after people that have been nice and kind to me as well. And, um, you know, I appreciate you've been great. You've, you've I've interviewed you as well. And uh, it was great when you got the courage to go out and make your own YouTube channel and get out there and, and get your own community going. And um, I hope in some level I, I kind of, you know, nudged you towards there as well. I was always trying to tell you to, to get it done. And, uh, you know, I hope uh, it's brought happiness to you. And what you find is that when you decide to like do something that you enjoy and you put it online, you know, you, you find a nice community. Like, of course, it's going to be like five to 10 percent of people that are annoying. But like you find people that genuinely like, you know, and people are looking for that. They're looking for connection. And, and it, it's a really good thing as well. And um, hi. Hello. Uh, how are you doing? Well, my man, I'm doing all right, man. I'm on the mend. It's International Women's Day today. Really? Is it really? What's that? International Women's Day. I thought that was every day. <laughs> Why do women need their internet? What is? Oh, I'm going to get into trouble now. I don't even know what this is. International Women's Day. Let me Google it. Let's see. International Women's Day, March the 8th, is a global day celebrating the social, the economic, the cultural, and political achievements of women as well. Jesus, man, that's a mouthful. Liesl, to all my to all my women around me, every day is International Women's Day. I take care of my 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 harem of of ladies. <laughs> but uh, 
yeah, like it's uh, I, I uh, was this like something from the trade union side of things that came about, um, and then there was International Woman Day or something like that. Um, don't really know a lot about that as well. It's not something that I like, sit down and think about and you know want to research too much as well. But uh, I think women get a lot of days, you know, the Valentine's Day, the birthday, the anniversary, International Women's Day, you know, and, and different. Oh, but how you want a controversial take, Liesl? What is a woman? You know, there's loads of these, 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 uh, you know, pro pronouns, and, and my pronouns are stick and maker, you know. Uh, let's see, um, Mir, they're all, you guys are all saying lie to each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you all love each other. We know this. Let's go on. We see now some more more comments. Uh, let's just see now if I have any more. Let's check the Instagram feed. Yeah, that's doing okay. Uh, Sam Carlisle Sullivan says, That's so sweet of you to keep going with the takeaway routine. Yeah, man. It's like, it's, it's just a simple routine, but it's like, you know, as a guy, you just want to be the hero. Like, you know, your family, like your family, like they come to you when something's wrong and you just come to the door and like, I'll buy them stuff. I'll do things. I'll help them. And I never get the same response as just bringing him food. <laughs> I get him nice and hungry first, man. It's like I feed him like at around one o'clock. So by the time I get home about seven, six, seven hours, their stomach's going. They're just like getting that little bit moody and hungry and angry at the same time. And then boom, I come to the door, man. It's, it's the simple things in life, man. It's so weird. Like that's that means a lot to me. It shouldn't, but it does. Like mm. scientists and trusted chemists proven the shot make people sick. Yeah, could be do well. I wonder, man. I should get my compensation, man. Pfizer, Pfizer, man, give me my money. I had no choice, man. I got stuck. I had to go to Thailand, and uh, you know, I had to go. And like the wife was stuck there, and uh, you know, it was it was very difficult, and you know. It, bringing the kids hadn't seen seen their mom for like two or three years and i i couldn't get into thailand without bloody doing that pfizer thing and i had no choice like literally i had to get it done or else i couldn't like go into that country and you know the kids hadn't seen their mom for like two or three years and i was like okay you know uh, so i kind of like you know i i took it grudgingly and had to get two of them jabs I'm not happy with that, man. I had no choice. Like, I had to do it to travel because if I didn't do it, the kids wouldn't have seen their moms for, like, another year or two. So it was kind of annoying. Did it for the kids so they could see their mom. You know, but I wonder, man, you got me thinking now. <laughs> no. I'm going to think, is there a link? Is there a link? Is there a link between that vaccine, man, and this thing hit me in my mid-40s, man, which is a very unusual time to get something like this. Hmm. Conspiracies, man. But, uh, I don't know, man. Not a doctor. And my father-in-law recently had cancer treatment and had to drive to the city and regularly back uh, and regularly brought back food for families. The little things slip out in a week. They do, man. And it's like when you got to go for chemo, I'm going back and forth, and you've got to drive and park and everything and come back. It's like, and then like the thing is, <clears throat> if you are genuinely sick and going through cancer and different things, like the last thing you want is people like, are you okay? 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 You know, like. You just want people to talk to you in a normal way. Like I usually make the jokes and, and get rid of the awkwardness straight away. And I have a kind of, I know what to say to kind of like make things a bit kind of easier and, uh, and different things like that. But like, you know, when someone in your family, they're going through stuff and, you know, they're having a tough time and stuff. Like the last thing they want to do is keep talking about it. Like talk about football, talk about sports, talk about politics, talk about, yeah, why well, are you going to vote for Trump? You know, Biden, look at his speech, man, you know. You talk about different things just to get minds off it. You know, you just want to, you just want to like, you know, to do things. But yeah, the little things are actually pretty good. Um, hope uh, you put up more big root ball hiking sticks. I do, man. I have some nice ones, but um, it'll probably be April before I get them up. Uh, <coughs> I got, I got like a big stockpile of root balls, hundreds of them, hundreds of them, man. This summer, man, I'm going to be the root ball king, and no one's going to match me in terms of the sheer volume and the quality of of it as well um i've been sitting on like the last few years man i've been selling them like hot, hot cakes and different things but like the next the next thousand sticks that i'm going to go through man are going to be sweet and um, they're all thick ones they're all they're all the ones you guys like and uh i'm kind of going to get into them to summer months so uh the next few months is going to be pretty high even the, the i just put on like um you know 10 sticks today about an hour ago and they're they're pretty high quality ones hello guys hello uh yes articles crafts one of a kind yes very good um let's see uh, francis uh, we established a new 
um, sovereign country in her backyard. Are you interested in being my cabinet? Visit any time. Yes. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Do I get like, you know, what, what are my ministerial privileges as well? <laughs> do I do I get diplomatic immunity? So if I go and go into your back garden and say anything, but uh, no, I appreciate that, Sean, man. It was great meeting you when you came to Ireland and uh, meeting you and your family. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, hope you can make it back to Ireland again sometime, catch up with things as well. I've had a roller coaster of a year. Uh, let me just check now on my other platforms. Okay, uh, Lisa said, oh, thank you, Francis. Yes, I have 160 sub now, and thanks to you and to Fran uh, Frank as well. That's good, Matt. That's you know, you get the community together. It's a very niche community as well. And uh, you'd be surprised. Like, you know, you'll you'll get messages on your videos from years to years. Just about consistency and, and doing it out. Joe Grant said, it's CBD oil. Don't worry, you won't get high from the victory. I tried that uh, CBD stuff before. Um, it's all right, like, it's a painkiller. That's all the only thing I noticed. Like, um, whenever my back and my shoulders were, were at, like, I got the C CBD pill things. Just, I wanted to try them. And they were legal at the time. And, uh... I didn't really notice too much about them and I just kind of noticed they took away the pain a little bit and, you know, that was about it. Never really felt anything from that. Um, but they're too expensive as a painkiller, man. There's cheaper painkillers out there. It is International Women's Day is every day, of course, man. Bless you. Yes. Fair point. Uh, I'm unfashioned. All pronouns are, let's see, all pronouns are valid, of course. Uh, and no, no controversy as well. Very good. Uh, off to work. I go. Bye-bye, guys. Try out that CBD oil, Francis. Uh, yeah, like I, I did that before. There's, there's a place, there's literally a shop straight across from my shop and they sell that. Like they're the, what are they called? Wicked, Wicked Smoke or Wicked something, Bertie shop. They sell all the, you know, the, the stuff, the magic-y stuff. The legal stuff, of course, the legal stuff. Uh, let's see now. I'm off to work. I try the CBD. Yeah, I got that as well. Um, does black thorn make good firewood? Uh, it does burn. It burns hot, man. It gives um, it gives a lot of temperature out. Um, but yeah, it does. It does. Um, you know, I, I have, I have used it before when I have. Uh, but when you have a fire and you have the black thorn and it's because of dense, heavy wood and it's seasoned and you get a lot of heat out of it, it's actually quite nice to burn. It doesn't spark too much as well when you're burning it, which is good. You know, you don't have the hot spark coming out. Um. Who do you support in football? Uh, I'm a Liverpool fan. Um, I've kind of lost touch with soccer um, and football over the last few years. But like throughout like my teenage years and 20s, um, it was Manchester United. My dad and my granddad were Man United supporters. And, you know, for my his, my dad's 60th, we went over to Old Trafford. And, uh, you know, it was, it was against Sunderland or something. I think Berbatov and Skoll scored or something like that. But like when you're like running your own business and being a stick maker... Like, you just really don't have the time. I work seven days a week. Um, you know, I, I make, you know, 400, 500,000 euro per year doing this. So it's like, you know, it's it's a lot of work. And, um, you know, I just don't have the time to sit there and watch a match, like, for 90 minutes to an hour. Like, my phone is constantly going. Like, you know, I have 25,000 people following me on Facebook. So I get a lot of messages, as you can imagine. I have over 17,000 people on my Instagram um, I have 17,000 people on my TikTok. I have nearly 10,000 on my Facebook, uh, sorry, my YouTube. I have a 1,000 videos on YouTube that continually get comments. So, like, my whole life is literally, like, replying and, and looking for sales leads in the comment sections and going through things as well. And uh, it's 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 a lot of work, so I don't really get the time, but uh, I do love World Cup. Uh, I've been to World Cup. I saw Ireland in the World Cup, and I do like, you know, the uh, you know watching international football, especially the World Cup is... You know, it's special. I, I really enjoy that. Uh, you know, every year um, or every four years in the World Cup is on. I nearly, I don't want to work for that month, man. I just want to watch it and go to it as well. So I, I love, love the World Cup, man. I love them all. I've kind of watched as many as I can, as many matches. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like, you know, I, I'm not really following the football at the moment as well. Uh, Lee's is straight in here with her spurs. Like, uh I, I, I don't even, I've lost touch of it. Like, I used to, there was a time I could tell you every player, every stat, every manager, you know, every different things as well. Now I wouldn't even know anything. Like, I literally couldn't, I, I, I just couldn't have any time. Um, I was in fantasy leagues and different things as well. But that was like five or six years ago. I know my dad still watches all of it. Like. I know um, John Elliott is a big Man United fan and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I can tell you guys about the Irish politics we want now. So there's like 
there's a kind of referendum in Ireland where they want to change some of the words in the constitution. And there's kind of two two sections in it. And uh, hey, Brian Hurdings, my man. Appreciate the old shamrocks and the, the American flag. Um, so, yeah, they want to change the kind of... This is my understanding, and I could be wrong, and I probably am wrong. But how it's been communicated to me is that they want to change the language from take out the word woman or something in the constitution and make it more gender neutral type of thing. So we're going into that whole kind of area. And then they, they want to do something which I disagree with as well a lot. And it's to do with the definition of a family. Um, they want to redefine what a family is. And a, they're, they're, there's this text where it says durable relationship of what is a durable relationship. And like, it's really, really vague and, you know, I'm one of these guys, I don't trust the government, I don't trust what they're doing. We have the Fine Gael and Fine Gael in power, and whatever agenda they're pushing, I'm usually going to do the opposite. <laughs> you know? So they want me to vote yes, yes, I'll, I have voted no, no on the referendum. Um, I voted no on uh, changing the language to include more of the gender neutral language in it as well, and uh, I think there's there's no need, like, you know, there's, there's, there's fine, like, and then the definition of a family, I think, is is fine. I think, uh, you know, I am a family man. You know, I think the definition of a family should should stay like that. Uh, durable relationships and different things, and there there it's a lot of it's like with all of these different things, man. You don't have to like change words in the constitution and stuff because like no one's being persecuted. Like there's no women being persecuted. There's no like Ireland is is pretty good for for most people. That's why we've had over a hundred thousand immigrants coming in, man, getting. 225 euro per week plus uh, plus accommodation you know people have been treated pretty well in ireland and uh women are treated um you know pretty well in irish culture as well and uh you know so i voted no and no in the referendum so uh you know that might you know <laughs> that might say so i try to stay away from all the political kind of like you know different things as well but uh not really. T I, I don't want the definitions of families and women, different things change. I think there's no need for it. Um, there's no problem that exists. Like It's like making an invention for a problem that doesn't exist. Like, you know, there is no problem with the definition of a woman in the Constitution. Like, it, there's no nothing. No one, no one's being persecuted because of that word in the Constitution. No one's being persecuted because the, the family is defined, you know, a different way. Then they want to define it by all of these different things now. Like, Everyone just needs to chill out, calm down, get people rich, focus on making money. You know, if you want to dress up, you know, in your privacy of your own home and you want to, you know, play cosplay and, and whatever, be who you want to be, you know, that's up to you. And uh, it doesn't bother me. And uh, I think it's, you know, as long as you're happy and you're not doing that as well. But, uh, you know, protect the kids, man. They don't need to know stuff like that. Okay. Tucker did an interview on uh, changing your constitution as well. Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't see that. Like, there's so much content to watch. Uh, like, I've watched a few Tucker things, and he's got really good interviews. But, like, I, I must sit down and kind of, like, when, I make, when I'm making sticks, and you see, I haven't really been making the sticks for the last while because of my operation and different things. And usually I would sit and listen to these podcasts. I listen to Tucker interviews. I'd listen to all different interviews across the, the spectrum. And... Uh, I don't know, man. I do like his. Uh, I do like him as well. I listen to Piers Morgan too, man. Even though he's a complete shill, like he's annoying. Uh, let's see. It uh, sounds like uh, you need uh, you need a wall as well. <laughs> we have we're an island nation with a sea around us, man. But they they get over here, man. It's like the big issue in Ireland at the moment is probably the um, the homeless, the immigration, um, you know, all of these different things as well. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, you know, there's there's going to be a lot of elections this year in the world. Um, there's a big, I suppose now the populist vote is going more to the right side of things as well. Like um, I know there's a vote coming up in um, in Portugal. Uh, I think in the next week there's a what's the party there? The Cheng Chenga Chenga party, I think is um, and they would be kind of like you know neo conservative rights type of type of party as well. And I think they're gaining popularity, and uh, you know a lot of these things you know they 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 don't really affect us here in Ireland. Uh, I agree about Piercy's chill, man. He has, he's got no, he believe, he just wants to argue, man. If you're like, 
I believe, you know, the grass is green. He says, no, the grass is blue. The grass is blue. I'm telling you it's blue. And like, he just, he argues for no reason, man. It's like, he's just, you know, his whole, his whole template is like, you know, he's, you know, his own views are like kind of w weird or something like that. He doesn't have any views. That's the thing. He just like goes, he gets, he hops on the kind of like the masculinity thing and stuff like that and, and different things. But like, you know, you wonder what he really believes at all. I think most of the time he's just like a sensationalist guy that wants to call it. But, you know, it's entertaining. Like there's no, you know, I watch people I disagree with because it's entertaining and it's fun. And, you know, when you work hard, sometimes you want to, to hear some information and, and different things. But, uh, but yeah, Irish politics is the same as everywhere else, man. It's uh, well, like the most the most worrying thing that's happening in Irish politics is this um, this hate speech law that's that's kind of they're trying to, to pass. And, you know, it's it's so vague that it will allow anyone in power to define what is hate speech. So if I made a joke about someone from Cavan being mean, you know, the stereotype of a Cavan man being very mean. You know, I could be locked up for hate speech or something like that. Or if I said, look, you know, a Donegal guy and a sheep, you know, you don't want to leave them alone for a while. Again, you know, making a joke or something like that. Uh, you know, you could, you could, you could, you know. So, like, you know, it's yeah, the world is going turning and all different things as well. You know, I'm going to keep life simple and just make me sticks. I'm going to buy my sticks and check your nuts. They're my two catchphrases now going forward. Uh, I'm just going to like continually buy my sticks is my catchphrase. And because of, uh, I, I'll, I'll show you, actually, I want to show you a stick that my dad is working on to show you a difference between what I do and what my dad does. <laughs> so I'll show you this stick. Like this is a stick. My dad, I seen it. I went down, I went down to my basement and uh, my dad has like been making a few sticks for me, as you guys well know as well, because I've been out of action. It's good to listen to many opinions. It is. I, I learned from all different people as well. I'll talk, I'll talk to, to lads on the right and the left and different things. I find lads on the left a bit hard to deal with, man, because they won't, they won't listen, listen and reason. Sometimes they'll just like, you know, argue for the sake of arguing. Or they try to be like, you know, hyper intelligent and in different things. And then like, you just call them out on different things. But like, anyway, here's like, here's a stick my dad is working on as well. And, you know, it's a black turn stick, as you can see, it's, it's not finished yet. He's just kind of working on it. And this is like typical style of my dad. Like my dad and me, we have two different styles of stick making, like, you know, my style of stick making is is different. I, I like to do different handles for my dad. When me and my dad are working together in the basement, my dad will make a stick and I look at it and I just won't like the handle and I'll make a stick and he won't like my handle. And we, we always, we've we've had these arguments before about the handles and stuff. And like, I'll, I said, there's something around this handle. And he goes, oh, that's because your hand is small and you don't understand and that's fine and, and different things. But like, one of the like here's here's a here's a stick my dad is working on. Actually, I'm gonna leave this stick. Dad, if you're watching, I'm not touching any of your sticks, man, that you're making. I'm gonna leave this in its glory. But like he always does this thing where he he loves this bit always sticking up here, you know? And like it kind of feels okay and stuff. Maybe if you have a bigger hand and stuff like that. And he always does this thing. So like my dad's a feature guy. And what I mean by feature guy is like when my dad sees, yeah, <laughs> he's coming in now as well. What's he say? Look. There's a head like a duck. I'm just about to get to it as well, man. I'm going to explain. See, my dad looks for features, okay? I look for comfort, okay? So I'm trying to think of, like, what's the most comfortable grip? I'm looking at the hand and different things. Well, my dad's, my dad's more of the artist, you know? He's like, I see a duck in that, man. Look at that. There's a duck, you know? My dad's, like, more the kind of creative kind of stick maker. And I'm more practical, like... Just to kind of like give you guys like you know a bit of banter behind the scenes and stuff between me and my dad but like my dad is like that look at him like look at his comment that's that's a head like a duck my dad's a visionary man he looks at things and he's like he looks for the little features he's like you know look look at this feature man look this feature if we kind of like you know we got it and like my dad's really more of like the artistic -y type of guy he wants to bring out the features while with me i'm more practical i'm like right i need the walking aid I want this to be like, you know, good. I want it to fit snugly into the hand. I want the hand to hold around it, all these different grips. While my dad's like, nah, man, it has a duck head. Like, imagine being my dad in the basement and we pick up a piece of black drawn wood and I see this piece of wood and I'm like, all right, I'm probably going to make a different type of handle and different things. And then my dad just picks up the wood and he's just like looking at it and he's got his little glasses on and he's like, that's a duck. That's a duck head. I'm going to make a duck head out of that. 
And I'm like, why are you making a dog head out of that? Like, you know what? And then I'm like, does that look like a dog head to you? And he's like, yeah, man, it's a dog head. And like, me and my dad, we have these weirdest kind of like, uh, we have these weird kind of conversations. Sometimes I wish we could like have, like if I got him on the stream and stuff, like he's completely different. Like my dad's like, Hello, no, like his whole a different. He's got like his stream personality, but like you see his personality, like when we're in the basement and stuff, is always kind of funny as well. And Mary, uh, I like to stick Frank, your true artist. He is my dad sees things, man. He might like sometimes my dad would be like, that looks like you know, and and but my so the easiest the easiest way I can explain between my style of stick making, my dad's my dad's a features. He looks for features. He looks for certain things how it looks and different things. While I'm more of kind of like practical logical type of type of guy i like you know and i it's kind of funny so i'm i'm going to like i'll i'm going to put this stick up when my dad finishes it i don't know like what he's got to do what he you know my dad does like all different things like my dad look at this and says well, maybe i'll change this maybe i'll do this you know and he'll he he spends a lot of time like you know thinking about these sticks and and getting them a certain way and like the thing is, like, my dad will see something that no one else will see in the stick. Like, you know, he's he's like, that's a duck. And then he's like, that's a duck's head. That's just different things. This is the duck. And, you know, he's having a he's having a day where it's raining. And, you know, maybe he's not happy. And he's looking in a certain way because the wind is blowing. And, like, I'm just looking at my dad. Go, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> but look, look, look. Mary says it does look like a duck head. Look, look, Dad, you, you've got you've got your fans, man. You've got your fans. You know, is that a joke? You know, it's... I don't know, man. But my dad doesn't make too many sticks. So, like, you know, getting one of getting one of his sticks. If you've been buying sticks since December, you know, you've got a few of my dad's sticks, uh, you know, and uh, they will be quite rare someday. And look, this stick will be rare because I've spoke about it on the live stream. My dad's weird, weird duck. <laughs> fascination as well <laughs> oh he seems he's like birds and different things man it's like it's so funny man i enjoy like actually look when my dad's there as well like even though i'm annoying him and he's like sometimes get out of my <laughs> get out of get out of my you know because when the two of us are working together like you know we either work in silence and we just get guess different things as well and like you know i i'd be there like you know maybe you should do this different and he's the same he's like Maybe you should do that. But why did you do that? You know, why did you, you know, and we're just going back and forth like this. And, uh, you know, it's it's funny and it's normal. And this is just the way a father and son's relationship is as well. And um, there's just different ways, different approaches as well. And I think it's kind of like, I love, I love talking about this with other stick guys too. And everyone has their own way of doing it. And everyone thinks they like their way a bit better as well. Uh, Frank and Francis, I, I must come and visit you both when you can. Yeah, this summer, like, I should be around. I think I'm not going to Thailand this summer. I'm going to like stay around. Like some years I would go to Thailand for two months because like July is my quietest month of the year. Like it's <sighs> sales go way down and it's like normal. I'm used to it. It's like a seasonal thing. Like a July and August is like the quietest month of the year, but it's always the most expensive to travel as well to different places. So, um, so yeah, it's a, uh, when you guys are coming over to see me, just like give me the heads up and so, cause like sometimes guys will like, turn up at the shop and like I've gone to Cork for the day or I'm up in Dublin or I'm out doing something or, or, or out and about. But like, uh, but yeah. But uh, yeah, maybe actually, maybe it's an idea for a stream where we pick up, me and my dad would pick up a piece of wood and he talks about the handle he sees and I talk about the handle I sees. I don't know if you guys find that interesting as well because like we, we both look at a piece of wood and I will tell you what I would do and my dad will tell you what he will do, and you guys can decide what it is. Must do some more streaming as well. I actually, I gotta like get a better setup downstairs, and uh, you know, if I can, if I can get a better setup, because like there's dust everywhere. I have so many things to do, man. It's like when you, when you're, when you have your own business, there's like so many things, little tasks you put off and put off and put off. I want to get better lighting, and actually, I still gotta repeat the lighting here. Remember, the light was flickering. I have to do that as well. So I'm an ideas man as well. Like I, I, I can, can come up with like all of these kind of like ideas for marketing. Um, I have no shame at all. I have no embarrassment. I, I speak without a filter as well. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't, you know, I don't feel embarrassment. I'm not afraid of putting myself out there. I don't mind what people say, how I look, different things and stuff. It's all fine. Um, I'm going to order my six stick from McCaffrey Crafts. I should order one of your forest creations. There certainly is a difference. You can kind of notice it on the website. Like, there's obviously, if you go to my website and have a look through, 
you can see there's two or three different styles like you know and you can see what my dad's done and anything that looks <laughs> well like to you guys miss norm to me if it looks a bit different or weird or just something unusual they're my dad sticks man that was his style like you know he'll just see something he'll see something in this and he's like yeah yeah, yeah that's that's what he's going to do it um that would be a great video as well um let's see brian mcgraw oh you're a stick guy too i've seen i've seen would you message me like you messaged me it was on instagram or something i can't remember hello francis how are things going good luck um from uh, from glasgow as well you have some videos on youtube or something and uh, you ones you're cycling or something like that and you're you're on like a building site with a digger or something i think that's you isn't it brian like, um, I've seen some of your videos, like you're on a, a building site or something like that, and there's a, a video of you like cycling or something. You got a good, you got a good Scottish accent anyway, man. But, uh, yeah, I think you're, you're, I don't know, are you getting into stick making or you've been doing it for years or something like that? But, uh, yeah, you got a bit of black turn I saw, which is good, man. Be careful that black turn though, man. It's like, it's nasty enough. Like, if you're kind of new to cutting it, just, you know, I can't stress enough, like, you, you, you kind of get confident in different things, and it can cause a lot of injuries as well. Uh, hi, Brian from Glasgow. My dad was from Glasgow as well. Very good. Um, small world. We all have some connections together as well. Um, okay, guys. i leave you with the nice little duck head, you know, and uh, I'll put this online. Maybe next week we'll get it done. We do. We don't. Even, I won't do do uh, an auction of this. It's just first come first serve whenever ready. My dad's duck head one. It's just like I don't. He always does this tick the thing where he loves sticking up a long piece straight of wood and then having a little kind of thing off it as well. He has like, yeah, like well, actually I must I must do that as well where I can go through my dad's. I'll have a think about it. But my dad has all of these kind of different ways, different ways to finish this as well. And uh, yeah, actually that's a good idea, man. We must I must have a talk to my dad about these things. Make a few different videos as well. Um, until next time, yeah, I gotta go now. Um, we bought two of your beauties. Yeah, I, I know. Um, I appreciate that. Like, and uh, you know, you are supporting Irish crafts, and uh, you know, I'm coming off a of surgery. You know, I've, I've had, you know, I've, I've been a bit, a bit down and different things as well. So it's, it's kind of like you know, you guys reaching out, you guys coming into sales, telling me you enjoy my craft and and everything. It, it does make me proud, and uh, you know, when I feel proud, is pretty good. American Omad, I'm just about to go now. So Francis, do you ever consider? doing a time lapse set up a video and just filming myself working a stick all day and set it to some music as well um i would but like you know sometimes like i go from task to task and uh, sometimes i i have to run up and run down and like sometimes i don't want to be like wasting time making a video when i can be focusing more on the tasks that make money and sales and different things as well but uh, yeah, I should kind of do it as well. It's just their basement gets really kind of dusty. I, sh I should probably get a proper dust extractor. I like, you know, uh, for all my experience and stuff, there's still plenty health and safety things I need to get done that I don't want to have on camera too. You know, when you kind of work yourself on your own and different things, like, you know, uh, you, you, there's certain things that you kind of don't want to put out into the internet because people will be going, oh my God, I can't believe you did that. Oh my God, I saw something there. Oh my God, you know, I'm reporting you to... To, to you know the powers that be for 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 that particular thing you did uh brian my man take care uh hope you're real i am man i am as well so appreciate that as well but i did, I did check out your your channel um i think it was like i can't remember when but i just i just have a like i'm i'm weird like that i just like people reach out to me oh who's this person I have a quick look at them as well um and you're a second generation born in america very good it's great to uh, to have uh, you know your your connection to Ireland as well. And I hope you guys visit Ireland. You know, if you if you're second generation born in America, um, come over. You know, see the homeland and find out a bit about who you are, where you came from. Find out about what Irish people are really like as well. You know, we're not like caricatured and played on on TV and different things. Irish people are very passionate, very knowledgeable. They know a lot about the world. They love giving opinions. They will tease you. You know um if you say the wrong thing to an irish person they'll let you know as well and uh, and different things as well the final words to my dad with his quack quack stick that's what gonna call it the quack quack collection you and your ducks man ducks ducks tasty man i want to eat duck now but you and your duck head or you see this dog or you see this labrador or different things as well <laughs> i wish i could actually record what he goes into one of these like rants where he's seen some vision you know, 
he's seeing look at that feature man and we get that feature we'll bring it out and you know that feature like i was talking about these features man he just wants to bring out the features and different things as well um okay we'll see you uh we're there in october 2000 oh yeah we were you loved ireland and uh want to live there as well um yeah ireland is like nice at certain times of year but like it's 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 tough enough to live here like there's loads of little things as well it's not as you know the paradise that is kind of made out in the brochure when you're on holidays here you have a different type of experience to when you actually live here and you have to get things done and you know things when they're not as efficient as, as places in america as well but we'll go back to Bye, Lee's little bye things. We'll leave the final message. Crack, crack. I'm out. Out of here, guys. Thanks for joining the live stream. I appreciate it. Okay, guys.